All right, we're ready to try the... Um, Huh? Okay. Yeah. We're ready to try the. Uh, okay, uh, look out! Now watch it. I just Mr. cleaned Pullman, up that last time. Jeez. I'm gonna try we'll the. Try it one more time, man. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh God. Jesus. All right. Okay. Ready? Now I know I got it down this time. You think so? Uh -huh. All right. All right. I'm ready. All right. All right. Go ahead and utter it an obscenity. Three, A two. What? Other an obscenity. <laughs> an obscenity. An obscenity. All right, all right, all right. Three, <laughs> three, two, two. <laughs> three, two, one. Faggot. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do Wait a minute. Guy's Stop. Terrible. Say what? Stop. Try it again. All right. <laughs> Stop the button. Don't. Okay. Wait, wait, one all more right. time. Try it again. Asshole. No, jeez. Okay, You're not. Hold on. Okay. It's, wait try it now. <laughs> Be careful with that. Now you're gonna break it if you're not careful. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, oh sh. <laughs> hey guys. Can't say <laughs> on the radio. Or, or, or. <laughs> you can't even say I'd like to you someday. Unless you're a doctor with a very large. Yeah, I have a comment to make about the uh, protest down at the... Uh, uh, Velvet Fingers. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Um, I think they should leave it open. Uh, that way uh, I know where all the uh, degenerates and uh, perverts are, and I don't have to worry about them uh, trying to molest my children out on our playground. Oh. And I think, I, I think they should uh, have a place for uh, these low life and you know, dirt bags to hang out at. See, I feel this way about it. Uh, snakes have rocks to crawl under, That's and right. uh, worms have holes to uh, burrow into. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, my worm is constantly looking for a hole to burrow into, and <laughs> and I think you know it's a free country, and your worm has a right to find its own hole. That's right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's, that's why I say you know we ought to have these places where the uh, it's a free country. Of the right? It's a can, free country. Uh, you know, live and, uh, you know, do whatever they want to do in uh, the privacy of uh, their little booths mm -hmm. or whatever they want. He seems pretty familiar with these outfits. Days. You know, yeah, I was going to say, it seems like you know an awful lot about this, uh, you know, Velvet Fingers. So. Can you so, give us a floor plan? Wh wh yeah, wh which, uh, which, which, which Velvet Fingers location is your favorite? Well, see, I don't go there. I just listen to you guys a lot. And after listening to you guys enough, uh, you know, you kind of get... Uh, up on what's going on, you know what I'm mm. saying? Uh, okay, okay, sure. I mean, you know, we try and keep everybody well informed, you know. Yeah, well. We work real long and real hard, sir, for <laughs> yeah, as well, much research uh, as possible. Because someone has to do it, you know. Well, I tell you, with working and family and everything, I don't get much time to, uh, you know, slither around in uh, rat holes like that. But mm -hmm. I'm glad you guys can handle it. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a good day. Okay. Well, you know, I feel sorry for the poor guy. I mean, he doesn't have a chance to get his worm in a hole very often. <laughs> Renfrew Nebish is here this morning with a dramatic reading. Renfrew J. Nebish. Mm. Renfrew J. Nebish, I'm sorry. Today, I have a dramatic reading of the popular bag to the bone. Oh, my God, he's still a good. <laughs> Can I hear music, please? Sure. <coughs> <clears throat> well, on the day I was born, this is all getting well. On that day, she was wounded. You can join the sound. The head nurse spoke up. She said, leave this one alone. She could tell right away I was mad to the bone. Mad to the bone. Mad to the bone. B, 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 mad. B, 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 mad. B, 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 mad. Mad to the bone. I want to be yours, pretty baby, yours and yours alone. I'm here to tell you, honey. You got bad to the bone. Buh, 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 buh. Bad. 
Baba baba. Baba. Baby to the bone. I want to be yours, pretty baby, yours and yours alone. I'm here to tell you, honey, that I'm bad to the bone. Ba, 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 bad. Ba, 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 bad. Ba, 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 bad. Bad. I'm the bone. Oh, that might have been the that best was, one ever. Uh, that was absolutely stunning. It just oh, it brings so a, good. does bring a tear to one's eyes. Certainly it? does, yes, mm -hmm. right. At long last, the combination of the year, Stevie and Stevie. That's right. You get all the hits of Stevie Wonder as sung by Stevie Nicks. I <laughs> what a pro. <laughs> Sing Stevie Wonder. At least we think it's Stevie Wonder, but then again, who can tell with Stevie Nicks singing? I mean, you know, Christ. Just listen. <laughs> well, that's either superstition or nuper nish nish. <laughs> Stevie Nicks sings Stevie Wonder. Available only through this radio offer. No one else would take it. Good morning, Jazz. Hi, who's this? This is Randy. Randy? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Well, I was hoping maybe you could confirm or deny something that I heard. I was listening to Tanya on the phone, or on the radio, what was it, Wednesday, I guess. That's right. And uh, a friend of mine here at the shop went down to see her, and he came back Thursday a quivering mass of jelly. Mm, yeah, well, I can imagine that. But he made a, a statement to me, and I thought it, if anybody could confirm or deny it, it'd be you. And, What's that? Well, it was his unbiased opinion that Tanya's quiver biscuit could probably pull nails. Is that true? No, no. That's not true? I, it is not possible for a quiver biscuit... Actually, it's a whisker biscuit, so well, I'm not, uh, but I'm assuming that's what you mean. It is not possible for a whisker biscuit to pull nails. Well, I wondered what, what it was that rendered him so uh, brain dead, but I asked him to elaborate, you know, whether or not that... Well, was, the, uh, a whisker biscuit has been known to latch itself onto a man's uh, forehead and drain him of all of his senses and uh, most of the money in his checking account. Well, <laughs> it's about 9 before 10 o'clock. Hmm. Is Sandy Kovac coming in? Yeah, she's hovering. Yeah. In the other room. Mm -hmm. Well, here she comes now. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning. Thank you. God, what have you been listening to VIC? Uh, yeah, I see. I only have an AM, AM radio. AM <laughs> radio. <laughs> you know, I've tried to be nice to the guy and give I him know, my car I for the weekend. It, All I can Jeff. do is bitch and moan. It sucks. Why the hell didn't you get a tape deck? Hey, you know, why the hell don't you just install one? Or better yet, walk <laughs> all goddamn weekend. I was going to install one, but uh, I didn't think. Uh... I bet there's no gas in it either. Probably not. No, I, only, I, I filled it up. I filled it up down there at Drake's. Mm -hmm. They got that 10% ethanol. Oh, great. Yes, <laughs> yes. Pretty cheap. Your car does run on diesel, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I, I'm not even going to tell you about the tow truck. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I won't even true. get. I won't even get into that. He could have done anything to my car. I won't even. Well, I, don't wanna, I don't want to. I don't want to bum you out, so I won't get. Well, into I didn't it. lend it to him. I lent it to a friend of his, and his, and then Jazz scarfed it from the friend. Oh. AM radio. <laughs> Jeez. Gee, I'll just have to borrow a better car next time, huh? Yeah, I think I will. Yeah. There I am, my leather jacket and leather pants, stepping out of a tempo. <laughs> 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 well, considering what you were driving before, I don't see any uh, radical yeah. step backwards there, buddy. No doubt. You're not going to get the good car in the family, so you're going to have to take the crappy one. Next time I'll get a BMW. Fine. Big mountain woman. <laughs> Make her carry around on her back. <laughs> you guys were very busy. The making... Denver Drunkos making uh, life a living hell for the Washington Deadskins. Say what? Uh oh. Now you Look did. out. The Deadskins. Uh uh. Yeah, yeah. Remember the yeah. Super Bowl, 1988? Denver got no. stomped like an ark at a bike rally yeah, by Washington. Yeah, yeah, right. I think it's going to happen tonight. Uh-uh. Revenge uh -huh. is in the air. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Broncos are going to walk all yeah, over. Yeah, you want to make a bet? Oh, no. You want to make a Here bet? We go. Here we go. You want to make a jiggle bet, Kovac? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
You lost the last one and damn near made me sick when you had to pay up. <laughs> However, Sandy, if you lose, you're going to have to do that just the way he did it. Uh-huh. 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 I want to see Jagles. Let's play a little pressed ham here. What do you think, huh? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a glass of coffee till over my house. Uh, Sandy, you can come over there and we'll play pressed ham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, can I have some pineapple with that, please? <laughs> <laughs> you provide the, the ham, I'll provide the glaze. Huh? <laughs> what a Thanksgiving treat, huh? <laughs> Stay away from the cranberry so, babe. It'd be very, very unhealthy. Well, tonight we'll find out who's uh, who's going to jiggle and press their ham. <laughs> or cocktail link. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, the outcome of this will be determined tonight at our place. Yeah. Come and see the two sides battle. You hear about the song that Sandy's nipple sings? <laughs> no, God. You're all alone, a fool on a hill. <laughs> um, there will be drink specials also down there for uh, Monday Night Football at our place. Uh, they do a deal where they hand out uh, little cards to home and away teams. Whoever's playing at home, they get their card away, whatever. And yeah, right. whenever there's a touchdown, a drink special will occur right Ooh. before your very eyes. Right. Served up to you and explained to you by one of the lovely waitresses. Free munchies, cheap pizza, and young, nubile waitresses. And tonight it is the Broncos versus the Redskins. We'll see you there. It's Our Place Lounge Capital in Washington, downtown Lansing, next door to that place that doesn't do any business anymore since they decided to dick around with us. I don't, mean to, I don't mean to wave anything in their face or anything. You know, oh, well, that's all right. But that's okay. I mean, it's the truth. That's right. Um, that's it for our show. Sandy's next. Honey, I don't mean to brag, but I think you better use a mop. <laughs> the non sequitur word on the Dan Bryan program. Listen for that tomorrow. Another episode, another lost episode in Jazz and Tim, the early years in our days of doing country radio at KORN in Durante, West Carolina. And let's see, what else we got for tomorrow's show? I think that's about it. Okay, that's it. So we it'll got... be a pretty short program tomorrow, actually. Yeah, we'll go from 5.30 to uh, 6.15. All right, there, you go. there we go. That'll pretty much handle it. We'll see you then. Until tomorrow, rears its ugly head on Spastic Nerds and Humpback Geeks. Say this is Jazz okay? And I'm Tim Barrett. Reminding you to... It's every day. Bye-bye, everybody. Uh-oh. Hear that, Blue Winkle? Of course, Rocky. I may be dumb, but I'm not deep. That music means it's time for us to go. Already? That's right, fellas. And you know what that means. It's time to say goodbye. Floyd and Gidley. Goodbye. 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 Sherman. Bye now. Mr. Peabody. I'm in the bed, kid. And that's a cat. I'll see you later. Well, wake up. See you later. Say the bird. Good archie, good archie. Boris and Natasha. Goodbye, darling. Boris, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. And goodbye from me. What you dare, Buster? Hey, what? Come on, Bullwinkle, <laughs> let's get out of here. We don't need to take any crap from this squirrel. I'll oh, hit that road, you little bitter <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Sandy Kovac Index of 92.7 MMQ. Time now for Ask the Answer Man. I'm your host, Tim Barron, and now here's the man with all the answers, Jazz McKay. Well, thank you, Tim Barron. Thank you. It is time for Ask the Answer Man, and there are certain rules to this game. Tim, why don't you tell our lovely studio audience and those folks at home exactly what those rules are. Okay, Jazz. Call the Answer Man right now at 363-2927. Again, 363-2927. And remember, you're allowed one question and one One question question only. only. All right, we'll go to those phones now. It's three minutes after 9, 9 9.03. Good morning. Yo, you're on Ask the Answer Man. What should a gynecologist do when he's feeling sentimental? What should a gynecologist do when he's feeling sentimental? Uh, look up an old girlfriend. Oh, I would say, probably. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer Man. What's the phrase that pays? What, what is the phrase that pays? Mitch Michaels. 
What a dick. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer Man. Yeah, how fat is Rich Michaels? Rich Michaels is uh, so fat. Jeez, we did this one. This is like the third time. Well, I'll do it again. Do the time zones. Go ahead. He covers three time zones and uh, has his own... I said atmosphere yesterday. Has his own gravitational pull. Yeah, that's a good. Point. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, he has his own gravitational pull. That's too. good. Yeah. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer Man. What it is? Yeah, how come it's called Getting Head when I already got one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's obviously, a good obviously, uh, this question is uh, for Sandy Kovac. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer Man. Yeah, I was wondering, uh, did you and Tim hear about the uh, nun who had a sex change? No. The nun who had a sex change? Oh, yeah, I read that in uh, the National Enquirer. Now they call her a trans sister. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer, man. Yeah, this is Gary. I called you yesterday. I got a real problem here. <laughs> How do you get rich to go home? <laughs> <laughs> Just put on some underwear and run outside. He'll, He'll follow. follow you. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer, man. Yes, could you tell me where the root dog school that the notorious Jazz McKay went so I can learn the same stuff? <laughs> 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 MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer, ma'am. Yes, it's Jazz. Yes, it is. Thank you for asking. One question and one question only. You are on Ask the Answer, ma'am. Yeah, did you hear about uh, Snow White's bash? Snow White? Snow White's bash? You mean like a party? Yeah. No, I... Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I did. I was uh, I was invited, but I didn't go. I, I heard the next morning that she woke up feeling dopey. <laughs> <laughs> MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer, ma'am. Yeah, Jazz, what's the difference between your meat Twinkie and your paycheck? What's the difference between my meat Twinkie and my paycheck? Well, well my if paycheck you doesn't rub, go quite as far. If you rub my paycheck, it doesn't get any bigger. Uh, okay. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer, ma'am. Uh, yeah, what's the difference between Rich Michaels and a eunuch? What is the difference between Rich Michaels... And a eunuch. And a eunuch. A eunuch doesn't have one, and Rich can't find his. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer, man. Uh, yeah, I just called up to talk to you about, I uh, was reading about Jasmine in the paper today. Is Jazz there? Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer Man. Do you know what the definition of dried fruit is? Yes, that is a uh, rump ranger with a vasectomy, I believe. Oh, MMQ, God. good morning. You're on Ask the yes, Answer it, Man. Here's the time to get up. Yes, uh, it yes, is. Yes, it is, sir. Get your lazy ass. Out of bed. Oh, MMQ, good morning. You're on Ask the Answer Man. Yo, my Yeah, God. Jess, how do you tell if your girlfriend's ticklish? <laughs> I don't know. How do you tell if your girlfriend is ticklish? You give her a testicle. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been Ask the Answer Man with Jazz McKay. And remember, if you have a question, don't take the law into your own hands. Take them to court. You never Because Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Bouge Day, Deja Vu, Lansing's finest in adult entertainment, will be presenting Europe's hottest, wildest, sexiest, nastiest Miss Nude England ever. Yes, it's TT Galore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. You don't want to miss this because you'll be missing a lot. TT's measurements are 50 EE, 2434. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Call today for showtimes. That's deja vu at Logan and Jolly, where the party never ends. Also uh, specializing in bachelor parties. Hubba hubba. TT galore. Uh huh. Yeah yeah. Hubba hubba. My and them's. You know the funny thing is these guys. You know you, all the time. You know, oh my God, fifty five triple E. <laughs> oh geez, that's gross. But man, I'll tell you. It's funny how they line up out that damn door every time the, oh, the yeah. big TT dancers oh, come to town. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No doubt. You know? Exactly. But I, I guess I understand that kind of, you know, because it's almost like a freak show. You know? It's like the, the one that goes around with them three TTs. Have you seen the three tt one? Yeah. The one that goes around the country with I three TTs? I heard about it. I never went and saw it. I mean, I think that's gross as all hell. Three of them? Nah. No, no. I mean, maybe if the third one was in the back, <laughs> then slow dancing sure would be fun. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, boy. So, anyway, you hear about the song that Sandy's nipple sings? <laughs> oh, God. You're all alone, a fool on a hill. <laughs> yeah, buddy, it is.
is uh, 647, all right, well, about 12 minutes before 7 o'clock, and you don't have to be Catholic to confess. You can call us at 363-2927 and confess this morning, of course, you know. I have uh, I have spent my time in Catholic Church. Actually, I wasn't born Catholic, you know. I, I but I, I my first wife was Catholic, you know. Uh-huh. And she got me going to going to church and going to confession, and it's been a while since I went. But the other day I did. Did you? I uh, yeah went by uh, one of the local Catholic churches here, and it, I, I, I I went inside, and the cro- the choir was was practicing. I think. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And how long has it been since your last confession, my son? Um, about four months. I, I uh, missed Mass 15 times, Father. And, mm-hmm. uh, I made these uh, broad, um, pardon the French, I, I went all the way with these two stewardesses from, from, from Cleveland. Don't be embarrassed, my son. I've heard it all before. I've heard much worse, frankly. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, Scumalingus? Scumalingus, you heard that? From second graders, I hear that. Low clearance clam, you heard that? Years ago. Years ago. Uh, wobbly warhead, uh, uh, driving a warhead in her, you heard that? Dwarf dinkus. Uh, Bosomburger. Scrot breath. Uh, bald eagle. Albino beaver. You bangy bottom? Slime slice. Mashy nibble lick. Mashy, you heard mashy nibble lick? Arlington. Dark cheese. Afterbirth on toast. That's that's pizza. Moon crater crotch. Yeah, fudge packing. Fudge packing? That's disgusting. That's terrible. Nice mouth you got. You kiss your mother with that mouth? You eat with that mouth? It's a garbage mouth. Garbage mouth? To- toilet mouth? How about sewer breath? You heard sewer breath? Sewer shoot. Have you, have you heard uh, munch on carpet? All the time. Hunk on Bobo? Milk Sherman, the one-eyed German? Beat the bishop. Uh, pound the bud. Flog the dolphin. Uh, jerk in the gherkin. Slap the salamander. Uh, spank the monkey. Oh. we have Marinos this hour? Don't we have Marinos this hour? End of the hour. Well, let's go ahead and do it now and get it out of the way. Here's okay, okay. my Reno's copy. So anyway, so like I'm hanging out at Reno's, right? Mm-hmm. And Reno's, by the way, just so you know, Reno's bar. Reno's bar is another debauchery heaven, I'm telling you. Reno's bar is on West Saginaw across from MC Sporting Goods, for those of you who don't know. It's two blocks east of the Lansing Mall. So anyway, like I'm hanging out at Reno's. I'm uh-huh. sucking down a big old schooner of beer. They're only a buck and a quarter over there, you know? Yeah, they're big, too. And, uh... You know, I'm there. I'm there every, you know, every couple of days, kind of like Tango's. I mean, you know, it, it, Reno's is a little closer to the work. Tango's a bit closer to my house, depending on where I'm at. And if I want to go have a beer, that's I go to one of the two, right? So anyway, I'm hanging out at Reno's the other day, and this guy comes in and he orders a bottle of champagne. And they don't serve a lot of champagne at Reno's. They've got it, of course, if you want. But so they brought it out, and the bartender asked him, says, uh, "So, you know, what's the deal with the champagne?" He says, "Well, I'm celebrating." And the bartender says, "Well, congratulations. What are you celebrating?" And he says, "Well, I finally came out of the closet. I'm gay." Oh, gee, Liz. And you know, I think you know, I think that's good. I think if if, if you, you, sh- you should be what you, what you what you be, be what you be. What do you do with the bottle? And he he popped it open and passed it around. You know, we all all drank a toast to us being uh, being gay and finally admitting it and being able to feel free enough to come out of the closet and admit that he's gay. And I'm in there like two days later, and the same guy comes in again and he orders another bottle of champagne. And the bartender's like, "Well, what are you celebrating this time?" And he said, "My brother." Because of the fact that I came out of the closet, my brother has come out of the closet, and he has finally admitted that he is a rump ranger, too. Oh, gee whiz. And, and uh, you know, this, hey, look, this is a beautiful thing. You know, whatever your perversion, you should be free and admit it. And we were all very happy for him, congratulated him for his brother coming out. But then the bartender says, listen, i got to ask you one question. Doesn't anybody in your family like whisker biscuits? The guy goes, yeah, my sister. <laughs> They got the best pizza in town. They're open till 2 a.m. seven days a week. <laughs> Reno's, no matter what your perversion, they love it. With over 70... Now, what was that? There's got... What was that you were saying again? I said, I'm sick. I'm going to die. Well, what's the matter? Oh, I get to work this morning and I turn on my radio. I've been listening to it for 20 minutes and it was Rich Michael. Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, come on, sir. Didn't, couldn't you tell the difference? <laughs> Oh my God! I think you need the whip. You need to get out the yeah, whip. Right whip him! Whip him! Whip him! The whip! Oh, it's Brian. I was having a good day. Yeah. Well, you have a good day now. You got us tuned in. Yes. All right. What? What? What's the frequency? I'm sorry. Ninety-two point seven, sir. Okay. MMQ. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. 
right. All right, all right. You're, you'll be all right. You'll live. You'll live. Get this man an iron lung. Get this man an iron lung. <laughs> Get him. Bye. Bye-bye. My pussycat was scratching out on my back door. Scratched so long. Poor pussy got sore, sore pussy. Little 92.7 MMQ, and that, of course, the Pussy Cat song. That is uh, our favorite news lady and a friendly little cat. Yeah. Jane Aldridge. Yeah, let's hear it for her. Hey, yeah, Jane. What a talent, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she sang. Back in the old days, back in the mid 70s, there, before she, she got into uh, you know, doing the news thing. Recorded quite a few songs. We ought to do uh, what a feature her yeah. one morning. Do a Jane Aldridge feature. A Jane Aldridge montage. A little country western there, too, uh, too for you. Okay, Delta Blues blowout going on, buddy. 92.7 MMQ inviting you out for a night of great blues and rock and roll. All three of them tied in together as we team together with Scory Auto Sound, Warehouse Records, and ZZ Top. To raise money for the Delta Blues Museum, the nation's only true landmark to the blues, come to Rick's American Cafe in East Lansing next Tuesday night and catch the once-in-a-lifetime lineup. Check this out, the Blue Avenue Delegates. We were talking, Jim and I were talking about this. Yeah. They play, uh, you, you just started working where now? At the Green Door, is that right? Yes, indeed, behind the Green Door. He's working behind the Green Door. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the Blue Avenue Delegates play there on, uh, was it Monday nights? Monday nights, yes. Packs the house. Go in there on a Monday night. Go in there next Monday night, by the way, and see Jim and tip him well. He's a bartender over there. Yeah. Okay. Donations. Donations to the gym, the big gym fund are always welcome. Yes, care packages as well. (laughs) We won't get into that right now. (laughs) Mad Dog and the Pack will also be at uh, Rick's next Tuesday night. The Uptown Band, Mad Cat Ruth, and the Warner Brothers recording artist Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Their giveaways uh, will include a Gibson SG guitar autographed by ZZ Top, valued at over $900, well over $900. I mean, the, the guitar alone would be $900, bucks, but it, when you got it signed by Frank, Dusty, and Billy, well, then it's worth a lot more. Yeah. We'll also have ZZ Top CDs and Muddy Water CDs to give away. Tickets are on sale at all Ticketmaster outlets, and they're going fast, so get yours today. See you at the Delta Blues Blowout. That's Tuesday. Coming with some news next? Yep. Okay, we'll do that. It's our Tim 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 I'm Tim Barron. All right. That's Mr. Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Here's Mr. Sunshine. <laughs> I wake up with my kid each day and tune the radio to Jazz McKay. He's so rude and crass and crude, he always brightens up my mood. He rags on Rich and others, too. I sure love listening to MMQ. And Tim Barron, he's the Duke. With that laugh of his, I almost puke. I don't listen to Rich or, Rich or all the rest. You guys truly are the best. All right! Thank you very much, madam. Some Elton John Rump Ranger music for you right now. Don't let your son go down on me. 92.7 MMQ. We have a celebrity call? Yes. A celebrity call. Oh, good. On, uh, California. On line two, all, all the right. way from... All all the way from California? From Santa Barbara. From Santa Barbara. Hello, MMQ. Hello, Jazz. Hey, it's Rod. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod. And you too, Tim. I didn't mean to leave you out. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it just happens all the time. I don't know if you've been reading in the paper lately that uh, George Bush showers with his dog. <laughs> I didn't see that. Well, no. you know, I, I, uh, there's a lot of people that are upset about that. And I just don't see what's wrong with George and Barbara getting in the show. <laughs> MMQ, good morning. Hello. <laughs> Hi, this is Steve, your gay listener. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I was sitting here this morning listening to your show. Just <laughs> loving every minute of it, as always. I don't care what anybody says. You are not rude and tasteless. Well, you may be rude, but you're not tasteless. No. Well, then again, I don't really know because I've never really had you in my mouth. Oh, God. Don't look forward to it. I have a joke for you. Oh, my really? girlfriend told me this Your joke. Girlfriend. My girlfriend. You know, Bob. <laughs> I don't think you're going to love this. If, okay, you ready? I'm ready. Ooh, this is so much fun. <laughs> if storks bring babies. What? What kind of birds oh. don't bring babies? Storks. If storks bring babies, what kind of... I don't know. If storks... What kind of birds don't... Swallows. Swallows. <laughs> Just about died. I almost fell off that bar stool with those four other guys last night. 
<laughs> a startled motorist discovered a dog's boom is worse than its bite after the little pooch gulped down live dynamite Ooh. and turned into a four-legged missile. Ooh. Young Boomer would apparently swallow anything and everything. Made him a real, real popular around the house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when he saw explosives, lying, <laughs> saw explosives lying near a construction site, he wolfed down a pair of sticks of dynamite sure. and ran off before the workers could react and chase him off. Yeah. Anyway, with the demolition crew giving chase, the canine burst into the path of a moving vehicle. It was a BMW, <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> yeah, I just love those Beamers. Yeah, so, I love uh, these Beamer stories, these exploding <laughs> Beamers. <laughs> anyway, the end result was heard for blocks as the force of the collision triggered the dynamite scattering pieces of dog and car throughout the neighborhood. Uh, the fur really flew, not to mention the engine parts. Holy jeez. That's what Foreman Don Griffith had to say as he wiped bits of Boomer off his work shoes. <laughs> Luckily, the driver escaped with just a bruise and a burn. <laughs> you know, it looked like a missile struck that sports car. <laughs> Don, con great. Don concludes by saying, there's not even enough left of that poor dog to give back to its owner. That <laughs> reminds me of one of my favorite Karnak bits, man. Uh, yeah. To give you the answer, you know, yeah, right. Right. the question, the, the answer was, Carson goes, the answer is sis boom ba. Uh -huh. Sis boom ba? What's the question? The question is, he f opens up the envelope, what is the sound an exploding sheep makes? <laughs> <laughs> 92.7 Until tomorrow, rears its ugly head on Spassy Nerds and Humpback Geeks. That is the jazz, okay? And I'm Jim Barron, reminding you to eat it every day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hear that, Paul Winkle? Of course, Rocky. I may be dumb, but I'm a thief. That music means it's time for us to go. Oh, maybe. That's right, Paul. Rocky, suck and my you know what that means. It's time to say goodbye. Floyd <laughs> and Kidney. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sure, That's an